Rockers, what's up? It's Pete Thorne, welcome to my studio. Hey, I'm here today to show you a really cool thing that I've been using a lot over the last month or two here in my studio, and I'm gonna continue using it because it's great. It's the Get Good Drums Zilla Edition Cab Sim. So this is a plugin that you can use within Pro Tools or Logic or whatever DAW you use to add speaker simulation or impulse responses to your awesome productions. So you guys know I'm a big fan of IRs. The PT-15 actually has an internal IR loader in it, my amp. Uh, but sometimes it's cool to actually disable it and do the IRs in the computer. Now, when would I want to do that? Well, you can do things like use room microphones. You can also uh, change the cabinet sound at the mix. So if you get to the mix and you've got like, you know, eight different guitar parts, and you're like, hey, I wonder if the one on the left would sound better with V30s instead of greenbacks. You can actually do that after the fact. So sometimes it is cool to actually do the impulse responses within your computer. One of the things I love about it is the way that it looks. It's a mixer, basically. You pull it up and it's just faders, pan knobs. It's incredibly simple and uh, just kind of elegant. So I love the way it's laid out. Now, it comes with a whole bunch of Zilla cabinets included, so you don't even need uh, an impulse response library or anything like that. Uh, you can use the included ones and get some killer tones. So a whole bunch of different cabinets, whole bunch of different speakers and microphone choices as well. And it's super easy to just pick between different cabinets and microphones until you find something you like. And there's a bunch of great presets built in blending different microphones, different speakers, different cabinets. You can save your presets, export them out if you want to use that impulse response somewhere else, like in a PT-15, for instance, or something like that. Just really easy to make presets, store them, save them, export them, use them wherever you like. So I used a variety of different sounds on the song at the beginning of the video. There's like, I don't know, seven or eight different guitar parts there. And on some of them, I was using the Zilla cabs. On some of them, I was using uh, impulse responses that I'd loaded up. Some of them are just close mics, some of them have room mics. I want to solo some of those parts from the song at the beginning of the video outside of the mix now and show you what some of those sound like. But also, uh, I can walk through and easily show you how the plugin works through the magic of screen capture recording and show you exactly what happens when you change different cabinets, blend different microphones. So let's get started. Here we go. Okay, so this is what the GGD Studio Cabs Zilla Edition plugin looks like when I've got it open within Logic. Uh, first of all, it's like seven faders, super simple to look at, really easy to understand. These are the pan controls here. Uh, there's mute, solo, and phase switch on every single channel. There's also this close and far control here, and that allows you to get kind of a, a close-up mic sound or a far mic sound by just turning that control. And you sort of control the virtual distance of the microphones, and that's just for the included, the cabinets and mics that come with the plug-in. If you load up an impulse response, that will be uh, disabled because, of course, then you've kind of got your mic position and everything baked into the IR. But anyway, more on that in a bit. So if I wanted to uh, change cabinets, I just click up here and you can see you get a visual representation, all the included different cabs, lots there to pick from. Uh, this particular cab type is just this one speaker, so if I click on the speaker, I don't get the option of changing it, but on some of them, you can use different types of speakers. And then if I click on the mic, you can see I can select all these different microphone choices. Uh, so I've got track one soloed up here in the song, uh, cl the clean baritone guitar part. Let's just play that, and I'll mess around with some different uh, microphones and cab types. You guys can see how this works. Okay, so right at the end there, you saw me add a second cabinet. You saw how fast and easy that is. You can pick uh, any one of these cabs, and then you pick on a microphone type, and it'll just add that to the overall blend. So now I've got an off-axis 57 here. I've got an NTR mic here, and then an on-axis 57, all with three different kinds of cabs. And we can hear what this sounds like. So you can see it's just really easy to use the faders to blend the different cabs, select different microphones, and just find your perfect blend. Now, if you come up with something that you really dig, you can go over here down to the bottom right-hand uh, part of the screen, just click Save, and you're going to be able to save this blend uh, of everything, mics, 
cabs and speakers as a preset, give it a name, and then you can store it up here in the user area. So one of the coolest things about the Zilla is it's real easy to add in some room microphone impulse responses to your guitar tracks, blend them with the close mics and get a really, really cool kind of over the top uh, next level sound as far as realism and space in your recordings go. So if you haven't tried room mic IRs uh, on your guitar tones yet, you're in for a real treat. Now the Zilla comes with uh, one of the mic models is a, is a room microphone. So you can use that of course with their internal cab sims and mic sims that it comes with. But most IR packages from companies like Celestion and Ownhammer will also include uh, some room mic IRs. And let's just try blending those in with some of the close mics so you can listen to what it does to the tones. Okay, so I've got my uh, dirty baritone rhythm guitar that was in the left channel soloed up here. Uh, why don't we just step through some of the different presets that come with the Zilla, uh, with the internal cabs and microphones that are included. Uh, there's all these different ones here, basic metal and, you know, Creamback 30 Fat Boy. Let's hear some of these different ones, and you'll see just how easy it is to get different cabinet sounds, even after you've already re recorded the guitar part. You can change the way it sounds in the mix. Here we go. So really cool, all these different presets. I mean, there's, there's an endless amount of stuff there to just sort through and check out. Last thing I want to show you here is how to load up some of your own third-party impulse responses. You can load IRs from Celestion or ML or Ownhammer or any of the great uh, third-party companies out there making these things these days. So uh, first of all, let's listen to what we got one more time. This is the um, Super Fat Boy 212 internal you know, GGD cab and mic collection here. It's when it, Once again, I'm... Uh, playing this part on a Dan Electro baritone guitar. <laughs> Okay, so let's mute those first two channels. I'll hit the cab button on channel three here at the top. Hit the user button and that pulls up uh, my Celestion IR folder. Had it pointed there already. Uh, and let's add, uh, let's say maybe uh, Sir Vintage 3412 um, high gain blend of uh, 121 of 57 uh, microphones. <laughs> Okay, and let's compare once again to the, uh, the internal cab, the uh, Super Fat Boy cab from Zilla. 
Just like that, you heard me add a room mic in there. I love those Celestian room mics. They're really killer. Uh, now, something that you can do with this plugin that's really awesome uh, is that somehow they've made it so it time aligns all the different IRs, whether they're their own IRs or third-party IRs, and you get no phase cancellation. So check this out. I'll turn on the two microphones from the, uh, the included impulse responses, and they'll blend perfectly with these Celestian IRs. <laughs> So that is pretty cool that they're all time aligned and everything. Because one thing you may have found in the past is that if you blend, say, IRs from Own Hammer and Celestion together, you'll get some notchy phase cancellation. Uh, and this plugin seems to somehow totally take care of that. And it's something that I really like about it. It's the GGD Studio Cabs Zilla Edition. Awesome plugin that I've been using a lot in my studio. And hey, I really like it. And uh, I can give it the thumbs up stamp of approval. It sounds great and it's super easy to use. I mean, the workflow is wonderful with the mixer layout. It's just so simple, really easy to load in your own impulse responses and then blend them to your heart's content, store them as presets, export them out, use them somewhere else if you wanna, you wanna export them, use them in the PT-15, that's really easy to do. It's just a great product, I really dig it. You can check it out further at the link down in the video description below, click there, and you can go to their website, watch great videos and tutorials and uh, find out everything you wanna know about this plugin that I didn't tell you. Please hit subscribe if you haven't. Uh, hit the little bell beside the subscribe. That'll give you an alert every time I put out a new video. And uh, hey, hit the thumbs up if you dug the video. I really appreciate it. I am Pete Thorne. I'll see you real soon. Take care.